everyone, Morgan here. Okay, so today I want to talk about some home security. Upping your defense. I, I, I hear more often lately that, you know, they really, people are really wanting to up their home defense. And so I want to talk about a few ways, like a few hacks, and like I have a few blog posts here to go over, some um, guides and things like that. But anyway, I, I'm looking at this, you know, home, and our home is our safe place, you know. It's the place that we go and we want to relax, you know, hang out in our underwear, whatever it is, right? I mean, we want to make this our safe haven, and it should be, you know. It should be that, that place where we can relax. But we also have to understand that, you know, we don't want to be seen as targets. And so this isn't like the best example of like a, you know, house that, you know, might be a target or might not. But basically, you know, this is a nice clean cut house. But a couple things that I really noticed right off the bat is this right here. Let's see if I'm going to get fancy. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Use the screen recorder here. Okay, this right here. Look at that. <laughs> um, okay, so this is a bush that goes into their backyard, it looks like. And so that bush is a really great hiding spot. Then we go over here to this really nice hiding spot right over there. Okay, so we have a couple really nice hiding spots over here that um, what I would do is just either cut them down, well, not cut them down, but maybe cut them back so that they're not so easy hiding spots. Um, and, uh, you know, or, and or put some nice um, motion sensor lights up in here and really light up these really dark areas, especially like right around here, you know, that's, these are access points, you know, to the house. And so, okay. The, so first of all, I did want to say that I have a brand new, um, blog post up on my website. It's called, how will you defend yourself when there are no police? And I give some interesting, um, history about the police. Um, and then I talk about some ways that we can increase our general overall security and safety and all that. And so, um, what I want to sh talk to you about right now is going to be some products. Not that. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so the very first one is going to be a window and door alarm. Now this is a really great um, door alarm. We have we had one on our door for a long time and it is great. We love it because all you do is you connect it. You connect one side. So you connect one side and then the other and then whenever the door is open it creates a sound of course you can turn it on or off i love these we got one from the dollar store i think and it, it worked really well it is a loud obnoxious noise okay this is one of our favorite things you don't have to get this one you know but this is like what a 10 pack for 40 bucks not too bad um okay so the next one is going to be these adjustable bar um locks for your windows and now this one is a ni is nice because it's a sturdy steel. It's not as easy to break as like, you know, a wooden um, stick or something, but definitely, you know, just get something for your doors and your sliding glass doors in which um, it, it makes it inaccessible. And this one is nice because you can adjust it. So like see here, it ha it's open a little bit for some air or something, but they can't open it more. That's kind of nice, you know, and then when it's closed, you have the lock here and then you have, you know, the lock down here. Now, of course, again, you can just get like a, a wooden stick and that'll be totally fine. Uh, okay, so the next one's going to be motion sensor lights. I can't um, tell you, I can't, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is get motion sensor lights, okay, everywhere. Light up your house, okay, lights, 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 lights. And what's really nice about these is that they are solar. There's no hooking them up to anything. Uh, there's no batteries to have to worry about. And they're motion sensor lights. And they have the um, solar right there. In fact, these I just ordered these today. So I'm really excited to get them and try them out. So, um, okay. So the next one is going to be security systems. I'm a big fan of security systems. Now, this Blink, as you can see, we purchased this. <laughs> um, this Blink, um, I love this system. I have it. It is fantastic. It it's indoor or outdoor, and um, it says it has a two-year battery life, but it just kind of depends on how often you're using it and like how often the motion sensor is going off. 
and uh, it really is weatherproof we've had it through a lot we even drove with it accidentally with it once <laughs> and it stayed on there we didn't like drive i don't think we drove on the freeway i can't remember anyway but what's nice about this is that you can see it on your phone so that whenever somebody comes up you know it, you get a notification immediately um, this has come into handy so many times especially when we were rving you know and we had to leave the rv for a second but anyway i for your house I think that this blink is great. It's affordable and it does not hook up to any system. It is wireless. It takes batteries. You don't have to hook it up to anything. It runs on Wi-Fi. That's it. It's literally it's the simplest thing to hook up. Now you don't have to get this blink. I'm not sponsored by blink or anything. As you can see, I actually purchased this. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, I, I just want you to, you know, look at these options and know that these options are out there. All right, so now this is a great um, article about some hacks for to burglar proof your home. This first one is great. Um, all you have to do is just get this quick, a nice little chain set up and then you put a pin in your window. That is such a fantastic way to really secure your door. I, honestly, if you did this along with the dowel in your window, oh man, that's That'd be fantastic, right? Um, and then, of course, you know, it talks about motion sensor lights um, and uh, switching out the screws for your shed. Um, foil the thieves with Allen head and Torx head and hex head cap screws instead of the standard Phillips screw head because you can just, you know, people are going to take just a regular Phillips screw head with them, right? Um, and then the two ways to secure your, you know, with the hinges and then of course this, which I just talked about, um, the door alarms and then, you know, of course the door security alarms and all that. Um, now this one's a really good one. Um, door reinforcement hardware. This is really great. You can get kick plates, but it reinforcing, uh, the doors, uh, through the locks or through the kick plates. Um, another one, actually I do want to scroll down. Just, there you go. The reinforcing with this, um, with a strike plate, uh, definitely, you know, with the longer screws and everything, that is just such an easy, easy thing to do. And it'll just reinforce your security. Okay. So this one is a really good one. This is locking your overhead garage door. The garage door is such an easy access point. So first of all, I think that locking your garage door is such a great idea, but not only this, actually close your garage door once you enter your home and don't leave your garage door open with, you know, while you're just at home because see this door right over here. Yeah, this is an access into your home. So you leave this garage door open and then they have direct access right into your home. And where can they just walk in just straight through your garage door because you left your garage door open and, um, you know, our, we actually had neighbors who, um, had people steal things from the garage because the garage door was just wide open. And you know, you just, <laughs> it's just such an easy access point. So always close the garage door and then when you can lock it, I think that's such a great, great idea. Um, and then of course be smart with social media. And another one that I wanted to bring up was keeping your landscape neat. I, I kind of already said this, but I mean, this is so important. You really want to keep it neat. And, um, you know, if you can plant some thorny bushes and cactuses and things like that, that can really, you know, it'll hurt. At the end of the day, when it comes to our physical security of our house, we're not necessarily trying to um, build a fortress, right? We're not trying to build a moat in front of our house, although that'd be really cool. We're just trying to make it look like a really hard target. We're trying to make our house look like a house that you, that nobody wants to enter, right? That, well, you know, you want it to be inviting, but you want it to be a house that to somebody who may want to enter says, you know what, I'm going to try a different house because it's going to be really hard to get into this house. And, um, you know, you could go as, as far as getting like a whole security system. So in case somebody breaks the glass, even, you know, then an alarm will sound. You want to make it as difficult as possible. Somebody tries to kick in your door. Well, you have a couple kick plates in place and it's going to take them a while. That kicking is going to wake you up. You're going to, you know, go into motion, right? And then let's say you have a couple dogs, you have toys, you know, laying around. Uh, you have, um, you know, dog toys and kids toys laying around in front of your door, right? Those are all, you know, security deterrents. So, you know, you just want to make it as hard as humanly possible to get inside of your home because your home 
is your home and nobody should ever have the right to come into your home without your permission. And uh, it is your absolute right to protect your home and to defend your home. So do whatever you have to to make it difficult. But, but if somebody ever does get into your home, make sure that you're ready to act with some sort of self-defense options. I encourage everyone to go check out my uh, new blog post to where you can go learn more ideas about how to defend yourself when there are no police because with police being disbanded and walking out on the job, literally, um, you know, we have to understand that, you know, even in good times, police were still on average anywhere from, you know, a couple minutes to 10 minutes away. And in some places it could be 30 to an hour, you know, 30 minutes to an hour away. And so we have to understand, you know, gathering intel, securing our home, you know, any type of weapons, forming alliances with our neighbors and our community, you know, avoiding areas, getting to know your local laws, you know, and if it gets too wild to just leave, but, you know, really go Go take a look at my um, my blog posts and sign up for my newsletter and all that good stuff. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate you. Conquer tomorrow by preparing today. Talk to you all later. Bye.